Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shauna from Creating It Made, and today I'm going to show you guys how we can use our gel plates to create foiled accents and backgrounds on our gel prints. Fun stuff ahead. Stay tuned. Okay, so this might be the normal way that you would apply foil to a gel print. Now I have my gel print all trimmed out. I have my stencil. I'm using some adhesive, some tacky when dry by the crafters workshop, and I'm going over the top with my deco foil. I'm going to burnish this down and end up with a foiled image. Now that's the normal way. What I want to do is show you guys two different ways that you can use your gel plate actually to apply foil to your gel prints now I, that's the deco foil and the um, tacky when dry but what I'm going to show you is a technique that uses these gilding flake sheets and they are very thin very fragile they come in a bunch of colors um, link in the description if you're interested and there are some that that are coming a larger size too the thing I'm just going to focus on the smaller ones I'm going to use my deco foil too later in the video as well but these gilding flake sheets um, give you a really fun way to apply foil using your gel plate now I'm calling this the foil on foil technique because you're gonna see I'm gonna end up with a foiled image in the foreground and some foil in the background and what I'm doing is I'm just taking my gilding sheets and I am going to apply them through the stencil onto the plate that's underneath and like because of the way the gel plate is made it is going to sort of grab and hold this foil without any adhesive necess being necessary right so all I'm going to do is I'm cutting these little pieces up they're kind of fussy but whatever and I'm just going to burnish it through the stencil now this can get a little bit messy but I'm, I'm like glitter averse i am averse to all of these shiny glittery things flying around everywhere and if i could do this technique um most people can because it it, it looks a little messy but i'm gonna give you some cleanup tips later on in the video so and to me it ends up being worth it because i just like the way that um the effect turns out but you know um, your mileage may vary um, what is going to be really important though is the type of gilding sheets that you use like I said I'm gonna drop a link to the ones that I have in the description but not they're not all created equal some do not um, sort of burnish down like this one does and as you can see I'm gonna pull this up and I have a really um, beautiful foiled image on my gel plate now if you're a card maker you can imagine the uses for this or even just if you're an art journaler um how you can use this technique to create be these beautiful sort of foily shiny um images with your gel plate now i'm just going over the top of this with some silver um, gilding sheets and I'm going to burnish this down and, and it's like it's called it's the foil on foil you're going to end up with um, the green foil in front and the silver foil in the back I cleaned this up and as you can see I'm going to give you some tips a little later on how I did that and I'm just going to go ahead and pull it now like you would with a normal gel print. I'm applying my acrylic paint over the top and then I'm just going to pull it onto a piece of black cardstock. And I'm going to show you one I did with pulling it with white too. And that, that changes a little bit. It has a little bit of a different look. And as you look at that, as you can see, it's a beautiful foiled image using your gel plate. And using the black makes it look that way. And the white sort of um, has a different um look in the background now i'm jumping here to a stenciled foil image now to be fair you can 100 percent do this using the tacky wind dry and the deco foil etc 
but you doing it this way kind of gives you a different textured um final image as you saw there it's it's very smooth but you can also get a crackle effect um with these gilding flake sheets and it's just different than it, it would look if you use the tacking and dry um so if you're looking to change it up a little bit and you want to try a different iteration of that technique you can go ahead and try this one and it works out just as well now i am just going over this with some master's touch acrylic paint and then i'm just going to pull this simple beautiful foiled church window um print and finally i am not finally because i don't think this is the last one um for this technique but i'm just going to show you the ripped paper technique i will drop a link to a video where i showed you this previously and i'm using different colored adhesive paper which helps me know which layer of paper to pull off and first i'm going to um go over the top of this with some acrylic paint in paints gray and then i'm going to pull off i think i'm pulling off the orange layer now and to fill in that orange layer i'm going to use some of the silver gilding sheets to create a silver striped effect and i'm just sticking some pieces down and i'm gonna burnish them like i've been showing you guys and it is a very it's a pretty forgiving technique um you, you can kind of get it a little bit messy but once you burnish it like it all goes where you want it to and then the extra stuff you can just brush off so i'm burnishing this down and then i'm going to pull the pink layer and i'm going to add a, a gold stripe in there as well now i mean this is gold and silver and black but you saw my gilding sheets came in a lot of different colors and obviously acrylic paint comes in a million different colors so you can imagine how you can change this up and, and make it fit whatever color scheme you're going for so i'm just burnishing all of this down and i'm going to pull it with some black paint now these prints will pull just like a normal acrylic um, paint print as you can see there sometimes uh, some of the foil will not pull off but that's just like any other gel print where the paint doesn't pull off um, and the acrylic paint sort of acts as a sealant for the rest of the foil so that when you touch it it really doesn't flake up or scratch off or anything like that so what I'm doing now is I'm going to show you guys um, my alcohol ink and foil print really quickly i'm using some blue hues of the ranger alcohol inks and i'm just rolling it through a stencil lightly with a prayer now when i pick this up you'll see there's a sort of subtle stencil image that i'm going to let dry and then i'm going to apply some silver foil over the top as with the other um, prints that I've shown you guys, I'm just going to put this on here. I'm going to burnish it down and then I'm going to pull the print with some acrylic paint. I am burnishing with a, that is just a paper towel that I'm using to um, rub the foil into the plate. And as you can see, there's not a lot of dustiness with this particular um iteration of the technique it doesn't get too too messy so i'm using some white acrylic paint to pull this off and it really is a sort of a dreamy subtle um, translucent effect with the foiled background and the alcohol ink i don't know if it really reads as well on camera as it does in person but it really ended up being beautiful sort of mirrored alcohol ink finish now i am going to show you guys just a few other pulls that i did i figured you didn't really need to see the full process the process is the same um for each of these and this is just gratuitous foil <laughs> that i really i really loved how it came out it came out beautifully um with that sort of prussian blue background this is another one that's sort of superhero those colors with the lime green and the blue foil and then this i see i see holiday cards <laughs> written all over this this is a flower stencil from um i forget who this is by but it has a, a red in the front and a gold foiled background i did a little um silver one over there on the side as well Okay, so here are those promised clean up tips. The biggest one is you need something sticky that will pull the 
extra foil off that will help you clean it up and get it off your stencils this is contact paper that i'm using here but you can use plenty of other sticky things you can use um tape well here this is isopropyl alcohol for the stuff that doesn't want to pull off with the sticky um you can clean it off with isopropyl but you can use tape and you can use um label paper anything sticky is your friend for cleanup using this process the contact paper really was it did come in quite handy though because you can get it in a large sizes for cheap and it'll clean everything right up okay so this is the second and last um technique i'm going to show you guys um of how to apply foil using your gel plate and on your gel prints and what i just did there was made a little rainbow as you can see and i'm going to pull the print through this stencil using adhesive paper i'll drop a link to a video where i showed you guys um several techniques to pull um clear prints and this was one of them but and what you're going to do you put the adhesive paper over the top of the stencil you burnish it well you pull it all off and then you um separate the adhesive paper from the stencil what you end up with is a printed image um that still has some sticky to it and so you add the deco foil to the sticky side and this is what you end up with you end up with a foiled gel print that is super beautiful look at that <laughs> I, I just really love this effect and it's kind of translucent so if you put it up um you know some book paper behind it or something else to add a little bit of visual interest um behind this printed image it's just perfect so I'm just showing you guys a few different pulls using this technique. I'm just rolling out my acrylic paint and I'm going to use my adhesive label to pull the print through the stencil. Now the thing about these prints with deco foils is that you're going to end up with a double sided print. I don't know if you saw it with the first pull that I did. The front was gold and the back was silver. Um, that is one of the benefits of using a deco foil um, with a gel print because you can imagine using this as like a tip in in a journal. Uh, so you get the best of of both worlds and that you get to see the front and the back because of this um, sort of um, clear paper that we're using and with this technique you see all that paint that's left on the plate you can take yourself a regular gel print pool I didn't show that but because it's just a regular pool but it's sort of double you get double prints using this technique two for one Additionally, these prints end up being sort of translucent. So you can imagine like putting some book text or some graph paper behind the prints just to add a, that little bit more, um, a little bit more of that visual interest to these gorgeous foiled prints. Now I'm going to show you guys the recap. Now you didn't see me do um, hardly any of these on camera because I didn't want this video to get, you know, too um, long, but you didn't really need to see it all it's all the same technique I, I made all of these doing the same two techniques that I showed you guys with my gilding sheets and my deco foil and so you can see all the beautiful and um sort of interesting vibrant shiny and foily prints you can make just using your gel plate and using the foil sort of directly on the plate or using it um on the print after it's pulled from the plate these are a few more of the ones i did using the deco foil i don't think you guys saw that one um and this i think was a duplicate <laughs> i did that one twice i liked it so much but and then these are the prints that i pulled just um from the paint left on the plate so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please go ahead and leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button i hope to see you guys next time and in the meantime keep creating and making bye bye